Hey, good morning, Cancer. Uh, it's about 5 a.m. Uh, this is your April, May, June 2018 tarot spread. Three cards for each month. Just a general glance at what's coming up for you. This is specifically for Cancers who are born in the third deacon. If you're a Cancer and you're born in the dates in the description, this is for you specifically. If you're a Cancer but you are not born in the dates in the third deacon, then this is not for you. Go check out the other two and never come back here again. I'm just kidding. Okay, so uh, if you like this video or if you like this channel, please subscribe so that I can see uh, uh, what's what and what I end up doing here. Uh, thank you so much for that. And let's begin. So for April, it looks like you're waiting on something. Overall, it looks like a really great spread. For April, it looks like you're waiting on something. You're waiting on a new perspective. You're waiting on a new way of thinking. Uh, I think you, you're in a place where you actually recognize that you do need to look at things in a different way. And so you're hanging on um, politely. I think that you're perfectly content to just hang back and wait and see if a new perspective comes to you. Uh, and you're waiting on something. You have the Queen of Wands here, so you're dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. I do think that it's more on the uh, Sagittarius side, but I could be wrong. I think that you uh, are feeling creative. You're feeling like beginning something new in a creative way. So maybe it's a creative way with how you approach a relationship, a conversation, a working partnership. You're feeling creative and you want to grow that creativity and you want to um, cultivate and foster the kind of, I think, your day-to-day -day activities. You want to create something beautiful for yourself daily now, whatever that means. That could be mean, meaning spending more time, getting ready for work. It could just be maybe adding a cute nickname to somebody that you love. I don't know. I see the Ten of Coins in April also, so that means complete financial abundance and wealth or the ability to attract that. And that comes directly from uh, pairing up with someone or something. But this is more of a domestic situation. So you, par you partner up with someone who has money. And you partner up with, and you you yourself have the ability to, to rake in the dough. So you and this person together will be able to create the kind of domestic, and the domestic financial bliss and happy home life that you you've always um, wanted. And so you're going to have that in April, or you're going to at least with the Queen of Queen of Wands sprinkling some seeds here, you'll be able to create a path for yourself that leads directly to the Ten of Coins in April. So it's not going to happen overnight, but in April you're going to start to feel the um, the pathways sort of open open up for domestic bliss and uh, security, financial security. In the month of May, you have uh, the Fool card, so it's a brand new start with something, but you want to be careful that you're not reckless. You are starting something new. You are forging ahead. You're moving. You're moving along as you should, with a clean slate. I think towards this, this ultimate desire of security, partnership, loyalty, um, abundance, creativity. You're moving towards that, and in May you're excited because I think that you, you do feel. And in the Queen of Wands, the Empress is directly under the Queen of Wands, and so this could mean a, a variety of things. So. You're already feeling creative. Now you're feeling creatively abundant. Like you can't stop this idea. Like it's one idea after another idea. And you're just feeling like I can plant seeds here. I can plant seeds there. I can grow this. I can grow that. It could also mean pregnancy. It could also mean that you are expecting and maybe you're due in May. Or maybe you conceive in May. Or maybe you find out you're pregnant in May. You could be close to someone who's pregnant, but it is a brand new beginning, so I think it's you who's pregnant, a lot of you, uh, or you at least, yeah, I think you're pregnant, I think you're going to have a baby soon, and I think that the full card is the beginning of this chapter, 
this chapter of motherhood, this chapter of abundance in in terms of how creative you can be. I bet, what if the the nursery is probably like amazing looking? You're being very um, warm and generous with your affection and you're being very motherly and you love to watch the things around you grow and that's exactly what's happening because the Queen of Wands is usually, like in the other decks, the Queen of Wands is usually very orange, red, fire signs and this is green. This is super green. I don't know if you can see it, but even the haze around her is green. So I think that everything around you is green and you're able to grow things. You're growing things from little things, big things grow. And the, the full card is saying it's a, it's a brand new chapter. It's a new beginning of growth and abundance and just really good things with the Ten of Coins there too. In May, you're also going to have a period of, you could be dealing with a, a Virgo. You're going to have a period of um, solitude and you might retreat a little bit within. Maybe you're looking for some clarity. And I could that could have something to do with the hangman at the beginning of April. So maybe you're doing your day-to-day, -day, you're getting ready for stuff, and you're moving along, and you're beginning a new chapter, and you're excited about that. But you also need some time to go within, have some quiet time, and just think about where you are in your life and where you want to be. Because right after that in June, you have the Ten of Cups. So you're you're doing really well right now. And I don't think that you have anything to worry about. I think that with the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups, April, May, June, you're going to experience total abundance. And maybe that is the hermit card. Maybe you, you begin to wonder, like, you know, don't ever doubt it when things are going well for you. You do deserve it. So don't question whether you deserve it or how you got it or how your life is so blessed. It is. And so just accept that and celebrate that and be sure to share that. And that's part of the Empress card, too. All this good stuff that comes your way, all the, these good vibes that come your way, you know, spread the love. It's the Brooklyn way. Spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Always, always take whatever you get, especially when you're as abundant as you are in this period of your life, and spread it around. Now, one's definition of abundance is not the same as the another's definition of abundance. So, you know, you don't have to be a multimillionaire in a $6 million home to feel as if you're in a position to share your wealth. Wealth can be anything. So be sure that the little things that you have, if you only have one slice of bread, break a corner off for somebody. Do you know what I mean? And that's how you can regenerate that abundance and keep, keep the blessings coming. And I think that's what I want to say to you in this reading. That's the message that's coming through. The Ten of Cups does mean complete emotional fulfillment. So you have a happy financial and happy emotional bond with someone. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So with the Nine of Wands in uh, June, you do have a, a, a vital step in contemplation. I think you're about to make a move, make a decision, because you can't be in hermit mode and hangman mode the whole time. So whatever move you're choosing to make, uh, whatever decision you have to make, make it. It's time for you to make it. You're going to make it, actually. You're not thinking about making a decision. You're going to do something and I think you're going to do it with your back against the wall. I don't think you're going to do it with uh, pleasure. You're going to do it because you have to do it, because you're too exhausted to do otherwise. And finally, you have the Six of Wands. So in June, you will be celebrated. You will be recognized. People are going to absolutely adore you. And as a Cancer in the third deacon, close to Leo, uh, you're not mad at that. You're, you're not mad at that at all. You're okay with that. So you will be celebrated. People will absolutely adore you. They're going to think you're fantastic. You could be coming out of your... I think you tend to do this cocoon thing, this butterfly thing. So the hermit card here is saying that you, you're waiting on something. You're, you're taking care of, of what you need to take care of creatively. 
and you go into hibernation or cocoon situation and then when you come out there's either a reckoning maybe you have you, with the nine of wands you're like right you called me while I was down and out. You called me. You called me. You didn't call me. So guess what? You're on the bench. You know, I'm, not, I'm not going to brunch with you anymore or whatever the situation is. Six of Wands is saying is you becoming that butterfly. See the butterflies in her, this person's hat right there? You come out of hibernation at the end of June and you're ready to, you're ready to hang out. At the end of June, anyways, you're entering um, uh, the end of, yeah, you're entering uh, Cancer's uh, season anyway, right? I believe that's correct. So you're ready to be celebrated. But overall, it looks like everything looks really good for you April, May, June. This was, this was only a general overview, so I didn't get too um, into love or finances or anything, but... All in all, it looks really great. Just make sure you take some time out to um, to think about something deeply before you before you make a decision, before you make a move, because this this is an actionable um, step. You're not just contemplating something. This is taking action. So before you take that action, uh, take some time out to think about it. And in June, you'll be celebrated for all of your strengths, for all of the, the stuff you've done, for being the wonderful you that you are. All right, so that's your April, May, June 2018 Cancer Deacon 3 reading. I'll see you guys next time.